from FX Empire, this is Chris taking a look at the Bitcoin market. Bitcoin has fallen a bit during the trading session on Wednesday to reach the 20-day uh, EMA. The 20-day EMA, of course, is an indicator that a lot of people will pay close attention to, but uh, there's even more support just below at the 50-day EMA. The 50-day EMA, of course, is very important. Uh, the $40,000 level just below there, of course, is very important as well. So with that being said, I think you're going to see a lot of uh, questions asked of support underneath. And I do think that there will be buyers down there. That being said, I think that most of the buyers will be looking at this through the prism of value. Can they find value at this point? So Ultimately, I think you've got a situation where you continue to wait for a drop and a bounce. That slight bounce is what you're looking for uh, to go long. If we can break above the $45,000 level, then I think it opens up a move to the $47,500 level. Keep in mind that there is the FOMC press conference that will probably be what uh, moves the market more than anything else. After all, uh, the uh, interest rate policy of the Federal Reserve being loose is pretty much everything that Bitcoin has ever dealt with until the past year. And the whole idea behind Bitcoin was to run away from money printing. So if they go back to that, that should in theory help digital assets, uh, not only Bitcoin, but multiple other ones as well. If we break down below the recent swing low, then the $35,000 level is your major support level and trend bottom from what I can see. Bitcoin released um, 80 to 90% gains due to the idea of the Bitcoin ETF. Well, we already know that now. So now the question is, what's the going to be the next catalyst? 